So John Wick 4 releases in a few weeks' time, and I, for one, absolutely cannot wait for this film. I genuinely can't wait. It's going to be the longest one yet, running about three hours long. Doesn't phase me, though. I genuinely think that this will be good pacing, just action. Beats, 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 non-stop. Really, really good. I'm really excited for this film. And there are two actors that I'm especially looking forward to seeing. And no, one of them actually isn't Keanu Reeves. Uh, it's Hiroyuki Sonada, which I think is absolutely such a great actor. Very underrated in Western films and underused in Western films. And I really cannot wait to see him in this. And I can't wait to see him bounce off of, hopefully the second actor, Donnie Yen, which is the actor we're going to be talking about today because he called out John Wick director, writer uh, for Asian stereotypes, which is interesting. And you saw the title of this film. It's always Shang or Chang. Uh, his commentary is uh, warranted but not warranted. And we'll sort of dive into it today. Uh, before we do, hit subscribe, give the video a like, uh, please do share it and turn the bell notifications on. If you want to support the channel, we've got Patreon down below or become a member. But again, let's dive into this today, ladies and gents. So here we have it here. Um, yeah, Donnie Yen uh, called out John Wick 4 uh, and Rogue One for Asian stereotypes and actually got the scripts changed by stating, why is the name always Shang or Chang? Well, because that's a common name can be yeah i mean we say about stereotypes but i mean it, stereotypes exist in everyday life because they are genuinely the case now, obviously not all stereotypes are you know warranted and some are definitely derogatory or could be seen in a derogatory way but someone's name being shang or chang just a common name. It's like people being called Ali or Muhammad. You know, it's just, it's, it's commonplace. But anyway, we'll dive into it. Like I said, he uh, bossed his way around on set and got scripts changed. Uh, so Donnie Yen is making his John Wick debut in the upcoming fourth installment as Kane. Now, I didn't know this, but he's a blind assassin. Caught between his ties to the villainous high table and his friendship with Keanu Reeves' eponymous killer. Turns out Yen's character was not originally named Kane. Now, I didn't know... Um, I didn't know he's blind. I didn't know that was allowed in this day and age. I thought you had to be blind to play blind people. You know? I didn't think actors could act anymore. But anyway, also... Doesn't this mark like the second blind person he's played? What's the deal with that? Taking, you're taking jobs from blind people, mate. Uh, no, I'm kidding, of course. Now, it turns out that Yen's character was not originally named Kane. Uh, the actor told GQ magazine that he called out the John Wick Chapter 4 script for including Asian stereotypes, leading to changes regarding his character's name and appearance in the film. The name was Shang or Chang, Yen said of his John Wick character. Why does he always have to be called Shang or Chang? Why can't he have a normal name? Well, that's awfully... I don't know. I mean, some may consider those names pretty normal, actually. <laughs> Considering their popularity and use. Some would consider those names pretty normal. That's like saying, why can't I have a real name? Why does he have to be called Muhammad or Ali? You mean a Western name is what you mean, Donnie. That's what you meant, isn't it? You meant, why can't he have a Western name? Not normal. You meant Western. That's that's, that's what you meant. All right. Interesting comments. Uh, why do you have to be so generic? Wow. Big self-report. Normal. Generic. Uh, then the wardrobe. Oh, Mandarin collars. Now look, this stuff I will like. I, I will agree with. Just because you originate from a certain place doesn't mean you would have to wear certain clothing. Like, of course, you know, uh, cultures tend to fashion anyway, especially if they're semi-westernized. Cultures tend to 
you know, bleed into one another. Um, like Thailand, for instance, you will see lots of people called many, many different things that, you know, then obviously there's generic names out there or normal names, whatever you want to call it, called the Donnie Yen standards anyway. But the fashion, for instance, will be yeah, pretty normal, I guess, pretty westernized uh, in terms of our eyes. Sorry about that. Uh, so I would agree with the fashion, but saying that names being normal, why they have to be generic, that kind of thing. But those are inherent in culture, right? So they, they're an, they're, it's a family name, it's an ancestral name. So if you come from a certain location, there are names which are more commonplace than others. So in the Western world, obviously Shang or Chang wouldn't be commonplace. That's pretty pretty normal to, you know, that's not a, an out there statement. It, that's just, that's pretty standard. You know, like, it's not a very British name. It's not a very American name. Those names obviously hail from a certain locale. So if you're playing a certain character who originates from a certain locale, it would make sense that you would have a commonplace name from that locale. Clothing, though, yeah, I could see that. But what interesting comments from this guy. And I like this guy, by the way. I just think this is really dumb. These are just actors flexing how stupid they are. Uh, why is everything so generic? This is a John Wick movie. Everybody's supposed to be cool and fashionable. I mean, mate, Mandarin collars, there's nothing wrong with Mandarin collars. That could be fashionable. We do. Uh, why can't he look cool and fashionable? All right, Donnie. Shitting on Asian culture. What are you doing? <laughs> Saying it's not cool and fashionable. What a dick. Anyway, John Wick Chapter 4 director Chad Stileski listened to Yen's criticism and agreed to modify the character. Yen, who was able to redesign the character as an homage to Bruce Lee. I'd say that's pretty... I'd, I'd say making a character as an homage to Bruce Lee is pretty generic. We see that fairly often in Hollywood. I'd say that's generic. But whatever. Uh, maintained that he had a very respectful experience working on John Wick. Adding, overall, I enjoyed making the film. Uh, but it was hardly the first time Yen played a role in unstereotyping a Hollywood tentpole. When Yen was courted to star as the blind warrior Chirut Imwi in Disney's Star Wars Rogue One, the script positioned the character as a stereotypical martial artist. Uh, one thing I pointed out is he was a stereotype. Typical master, doesn't smile. Uh, the actor made his criticism known to Rogue One creative team who responded by overhauling the script to give Chirut more comedic beats. Yen was even afforded opportunities to improvise jokes during filming. Interesting comments. Look, I, this is not going to change my, um, you know, my sort of excitement for this film. But these kind of comments, I think, are, well, a little bit dim. Um, you know, like, you don't see Hiro Hiroyuki Sanada being like, why does he have to be called Shimazu? Well, because you come from a certain place, mate. And there's also Re Rina... Saw Sawayama, she's called Akira. It's like, oh no, why do I have to be called a Japanese manga or anime? Like, well, because you come from a certain place, you know? I just think it's dumb. He's literally the only one. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it now. He is literally the only one. I'm looking at the cast list. He's the only one that has changed. Uh, and I just think it's interesting. So let me know what you think down below. Hope you had a good laugh at this anyway. Cheers, guys. Take care.